This is Dolany TV after dark, after after bed, after I I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been passed out cold for about the past hour and then all of a sudden my phone just starts ringing out of the middle of nowhere. I'm thinking it's my alarm. I'm confused. Why is it 1044 on Monday evening and what the heck's going on? Well, let me tell you. Um, anyone that was sitting here saying we needed to wait till opening day of the season to sign Ethan Bear and telling me I was completely in the wrong, wondering why Ethan Bear wasn't signed when we announced Oscar Kluffbaum was out of the lineup for the whole season. Read and weep, I guess you could say. Ethan Bear, according to Elliot Friedman, at 10.28 p.m. So yes, I know I'm 14 minutes behind getting to it. Don't you worry. Like I said, I was passed out cold. And if it was not for a good phone call from my good buddy, X Snipe Edmonton Oilers, who's been kind enough to let me cover it before he gets to it tomorrow, I would not be out of bed right now. Ethan Bear resigns in Edmonton two years, $2 million AAV. And there you go. Everybody that's sitting here saying Ethan Bear is asking for the world. He wants $3 million north. No, no. Ethan Bear simply just wanted to get something fair on the table that pays him for a good season this year to follow up last year and then pays him for an even better season the year after. The contract, as it is structured, is $1.5 million this year and then $2.5 million the year later. On expiry, RFA with arbitration rates and a $2.4 million qualifying offer two years away from UFA eligibility, according to Puckpedia. Those are your fancy stats you need to know this evening. That puts the Oilers pretty much over the, uh, over the uh, need for the LTIR threshold. Sorry, I'm just calculating things in my brain's not functioning like it would at 9 o'clock in the morning. But right now, the Edmonton Oilers are currently 2.2 million dollars projected over the cap after Ethan Bear signs. Uh, the Oilers could build a situation to uh, get on to LTIR, no problem, somewhere just north of $4 million. So yes, there still needs to be some math worked out here before everything's said and done for the Edmonton Oilers to be under the cap for opening night. But at least the last piece of that puzzle before you start figuring out who do you stick where kind of situation has been figured out by signing Ethan Bear. Now, here's the thing. $2 million for Ethan Bear, that's a heck of a steal for us Oilers fans. Let me tell you why. $2 million against the cap. I mean, realistically, coming off the season he had and given the contract extension Nurse got in the situation that ran a couple of years ago before his second bridge deal here of 5.6 what was it 3.2 million well you know what this is a far cry from 3.2 million it is only 2 million against the cap for the next two years this isn't a single year bridge deal and this is the beautiful part for the Oilers is realistically Bear comes in at 2 million dollars for not only this year but next year as well yes the contract dollars are a bit different you're only paying them physically 1.5 million against the cap this year, or 1.5 against the team payroll this year and then 2.5 the year later but now you've bought bear for this year on a 2 million dollar bridge deal and then you've also got him next year for 2 million dollars and realistically yeah I would like to see 1.5 but guess what I do in a sense get to see 1.5 for this year unfortunately it's not against my team numbers it's against Daryl Cates's team numbers and that's I guess fine and dandy whatever keeps the Oilers in Edmonton at the end of the day but for us as Oilers fans two million dollars is still a heck of a deal considering a lot of people in the comments section since I posted that video about the massive failure by the Edmonton Oilers and Ethan Bear to have a contract done when Oscar Kleffbaum was announced to go on injured reserve or LTIR for the whole year is the fact that everyone's sitting here saying Bear's holding out for way too much money, he's selfish, he's being rude, he's being whatever you want to use to say Bears being stupid and Ken Holland's going to cave to him. $2 million, meet in the middle, bing, bang, boom, perfect, done, dusted, 
and you know what maybe when I go back to bed here in about five ten minutes I can get back to relaxing and know that everything's done with the Edmonton Oilers needs to be done we get to training camp on January 3rd hockey begins January 13th and away we go no more questions no more anything play and let the results speak for themselves and I mean end of the day I guess right that's what we kind of get to with a two million dollar deal here for Ethan Bear as well is the results will effectively speak for themselves is two million dollars too much for Ethan Bear well he was getting paid eight hundred and ninety four thousand last year so realistically this is a one point one one million dollar raise for Ethan Bear any year a player gets that much after his entry-level deal expires, you're not talking much of a raise at all, especially for a kid that has gone on from playing a couple of games with the Oilers a few seasons back, a full season in the minors the year after, and then becoming, quote-unquote, the Oilers' 1B right-shot defenseman behind Adam Larson much of the NHL season. I'm sorry, it's not how you view Ethan Bear. It is what Ethan Bear was to the Edmonton Oilers last year and the facts and the ice time speak for itself Ethan Bear was the number 1B right hand shot defenseman for the Edmonton Oilers cleft bomb yeah he's the number one defenseman for the Oilers last year sure but don't deny it as much as I might have misgivings too Darnell Nurse was the number 1B defenseman to Oscar cleft bomb that just is what it is so now in a kind of bizarro world that we are living in, Adam Larson takes the step back potentially, and Ethan Bear takes over the number one defense on the right-hand side. And be it as it may, it may be terrible, it may be great, but that's the situation, the way the defense shapes up, and that transition began last year. Now, you know what? End of the day, worst comes to worst, you have a number one defenseman on the right side for $2 million for the next two years. You're kidding me if that ain't a heck of a deal and something to be pretty happy with at the end of the day. Now, does that pan out? No, but if it doesn't pan out, at worst you've got a third pairing defenseman for $2 million. I'm sorry, I'm an Edmonton Oilers fan. I've just spent the past two seasons and will spend this season as well having Chris Russell realistically be a third pairing defenseman on the Edmonton Oilers getting $4 million. So having a third pairing defenseman next year potentially only making two million after Matt Benning was making 1.9 for how many seasons end of the day I'm pretty dang happy all right seems bad you can yell about him not deserving the raise all you want but Ethan Bear this is the perfect compromise when it comes down to it for the Oilers yes on a one-year deal I would have liked to see 1.5 million on a two-year deal two million is fine and dandy with me and ladies and gentlemen with that I'm gonna upload this video I'm gonna get back to bed and we're gonna talk to you tomorrow about all the ramifications of Ethan Bear signing a two point or a two million dollar deal for two years I'm Tyson the stolen TV I can't even see straight right now have yourselves a great night get back to bed I am up on out of here